Hello everyone, Vegas Pick 1965 This week's video, we are back in the Pixel Art Lab and we're going to be doing a B, B house or B shop or whatever you think you might like to use it for. Anyway, without further ado, let's find out. Welcome back everyone, Vegas Fake 1965 This is the Pixel RB that we will be doing today for, the t for this week's video. If you like what you see, stick around and I'll show you how to build it. Up on the screen, you'll see the items that you will need to build this, the complete list. And you also may want to bring some uh, probably dirt blocks or something that you can use as a temporary block. Uh, as some of these placements will require some temporary blocks for us to get that done. So pause the video if you need to, and we'll crack on with the tutorial. Okay, the build height really depends on you where you're placing this. I'm just going to build a few blocks off the ground and to help us with block place placements so you can see where things go a lot easier, I'm going to be using Lightmatica. So if we go up to our first level, we're using our Acacia Stairs. I have some temporary blocks to get this placement done correctly. Don't need those any longer. On top of that, we're going to place some black terracotta. And to make this a little bit easier, like you're building it in survival, the next layer up, we're gonna go take our orange terracotta right on top of one of these legs. We'll take this one in the middle and we're gonna be going all the way across. That'll give us a little platform to stand on. The next block will, to the left and right will be black terracotta. Working our way back, we need some orange, more orange terracotta. And then we have back to black on the ends, black terracotta on the ends. We're gonna have brown terracotta, a line of that through here, one more there, one more there, followed by a black terracotta here and here. Then we'll go back to our black terracotta, working our way towards the front. Now we have orange terracotta, three in the front, like that, and we'll get our regular terracotta. Two here, two here, orange terracotta on the ends, yellow terracotta in the middle. We'll go up one level. This will be yellow concrete here, followed by on either side will be yellow terracotta. We'll get our black concrete powder, we'll place one here and here, followed by black concrete on the ends. Go to the left side of the build. That's going to be yellow concrete, followed by yellow terracotta. Looking at, I know these can be confusing, so looking at the top right of our screen, it says we need orange terracotta here, followed by brown terracotta here. This is going to be regular terracotta, followed by black terracotta. And then we have orange terracotta going in here, and two black terracotta going in here. Same thing on the other side. Regular terracotta, followed by black terracotta. Oh, that's brown. Black terracotta, then more orange terracotta, followed by black terracotta, and then a brown here. We also have two more brown terracotta here, here, and then one on the end. We'll need to get our brown wool out. One will go here and here. Start looking something like this and we'll go to the next level. Okay, our fifth level up, we have yellow concrete that's gonna go here, three in the front, followed by black concrete on each side, and then black concrete powder on the ends. Go to the left side again, two yellow concrete, followed by yellow terracotta. Then we have brown terracotta that's gonna go here, here, and then we have two on the end. This is going to be regular terracotta here, and we have yellow terracotta right there. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Now on the back, we're going to use brown, uh, brown concrete. We're going to use five pieces of this, followed by one brown wool. Come back to the front. We're going to work on the next layer up. 
add in our eyes. Here, that's the second block in, followed by black concrete on the ends, more yellow concrete in the middle. Go to the left side, three yellow concrete. This is going to be brown concrete. Here, here. This is going to be brown terracotta, yellow terracotta, and yellow terracotta. We're going to use our brown wool on the end. We're going to have a couple of brown concrete here, also on the end. Brown wool, and then we have brown terracotta that's going to go here, working on the right side. come to the back and we'll grab our black stained glass and so we'll just put a couple in here there we go back to the front we'll, we'll work on the next level okay the next layer up we're gonna place some orange terracotta here followed by yellow terracotta and we'll use a couple of yellow concrete and then yellow wool yellow terracotta and then orange terracotta Work our way around to the left again. We have yellow terracotta followed by a couple of yellow concrete. And we have our brown concrete here and here. We'll add our yellow concrete here and here and then followed by brown terracotta on the end. Same thing on the other side. On the back, we're going to use four pieces of brown concrete. One, two, three, and on the end, four, and then a piece of brown wool. Next layer up. Yellow concrete on this corner, followed by yellow, black concrete powder. Yellow wool, two more yellow concrete, black concrete powder, and yellow wool. Might as well go ahead and put our antenna in. A couple pieces here and here. So this side. Come to the left, yellow wool, two yellow concrete. And we have brown concrete here and here. Yellow concrete, brown terracotta. Come to this side, do the same thing. back we'll go with a few pieces of brown here two three four five there and a brown terracotta now I have a couple of sea lanterns in here I, I don't know if I, I believe I took those out because you can use whatever light source you want on the inside but if you're playing in survival you want to make sure you light this up in there because we do put a lid on this it will be dark and you will get you have a chance of getting spawns if you step 24 blocks or more away from this so use whatever light source you want on the inside of course i'm sure you'll be decorating it up if you're using it as a house okay now for the top our top layer we use a couple pieces of yellow wool here here there there and there and we'll use yellow concrete here and here let's go ahead and take care of the rest of our antenna which will go right on the top another piece in the front same on this side working from the left we have some yellow wool three pieces and then brown concrete here here and here more yellow wool then brown wool come to the other side somewhat similar three wool brown concrete here here and here also on the end and then we'll add our wool in the middle and we can start filling in here we'll start from the back brown concrete brown wool more brown concrete brown wool brown concrete Grab our yellow concrete, fill it in with the yellow wool. This is going to be brown concrete all the way across. Grab our yellow, yellow concrete, followed by one piece of yellow terracotta on the top, a couple of wool, yellow wool, and yellow concrete. More brown concrete across. 
do our yellow concrete here, here, three pieces of yellow wool in the middle, more yellow concrete, yellow wool, and we'll alternate our, almost alternate our uh, yellow concrete and wool. That'll take care of the top. Up another level, we're gonna use brown concrete here and here, followed by white wool there and there. And your bee should start coming along. Okay, the last step is to add in our wings. We'll start on the left side, use our temporary blocks. You can use a lot of these temporary blocks. Add some wool. Another piece of wool here, followed by white concrete. White concrete here. And we have white wool, followed by white concrete. Come down to the other side. Add in a piece of white wool. We're right in the middle here because we're going to add white concrete on one side and wool, white wool on the other. More white wool, more white wool. White concrete. And that should take care of it right there. That's one side. Now on this schematic, I failed to place in this part of the wing, so we'll just match that up as best we can. White wool, followed by white, white wool again, and white concrete. White concrete here. One white wool, one white concrete. Come down to the other side. white wool here, two more white wool here, and a white concrete here. Now let's match up this one over here. That'll be white concrete followed by white wool. You'll see a discoloration there because I failed to put that into the schematic. But those are your wings complete. Okay, if you did it correctly, your bees should look something like this. And if you had any difficulty, just feel free to go back in the video and take a look to make any corrections you need. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, thank you very much for watching guys and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.